<laughs> sure, I look a little different, but isn't this truly outrageous? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a short one and I wanted to do this voiceover because I am incredibly lazy. Also, this will not be a recurring series, so don't ask me to make another one. After watching season 4 of Stranger Things, oh by the way, the costumes went off this season. I loved it. Thank you, Amy Paris. Anyways, I was hoping I could somehow leech onto a character whose style I can try to get inspiration from and it turns out I freaking loved Angela's wardrobe. She was the one who played Eleven's full I also loved her entourage's fashion too. I low-key wish I could have done the two guys' fashion in this video as well, but again, I was very lazy. So I settled with Angela's pink top and acid wash skirt look. This is an inspired slash recreation of the look, mind you, so not everything I take from her look I'll emulate accurately. I will be using what I have in my closet right now, but I'll get to that much later. For now, I'll be showing you my hairdo process. I am filming in my bathroom and the lighting and view are awful because it is small and oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that the mirror was that dirty. Anyhow, some people asked for an updated hair tutorial which I might not do to be honest, so I guess this one could count if you wanted to. I did recently get my perm redone in April, so my curls are still tight and are layered off in short sections to make the teasing process better and to capture that 80s hair as much as possible for the type of hair that I have. I have super, super thin hair, so you will be seeing a lot of my, um, prominent scalp. Now, let's look at Angela's hairstyle. She has forehead bangs and she pulled some of the strands up and over to the side. We also see her with her hair half up, half down, with a pink polka dotted scrunchie. At least I think it's polka dotted, I can't see with this image quality. Back to me, I normally use mousse before I diffuse my hair on a low setting. I like to use suave mousse captivating curls, it just works better for me, and I just scrunch all that into my hair. And I also make sure that my hair is slightly damp, um, almost closing into like the dry area, but still slightly wet, if you know what I mean. I'm not the best at diffusing, I just try my best and do whatever works for me. It takes some time to diffuse all of my hair, and I sometimes cheat by using the medium setting here and there. For some reason, my hair was being very unreasonable that day and I had to keep adding more mousse. <laughs> Here I am trying to show you the top of my veins being curly and bouncing funny. <laughs> when I think my curls are all good, I do a final blow dry and hang my head upside down and scrunch the remaining areas that aren't dry yet. And there we go, okay. Here is my pink scrunchie that I got from Dollar Tree a long time ago and it's basically perfect for this look. Just sectioning off the hair for the look and making sure that my long layers aren't blended in with my top bangs, which happens a lot and it's like really, really annoying. Now it's time to tease the bangs. Angela's are um, rather flat, which isn't inaccurate for the time, but me being me, I'm gonna try to get them as high as possible. I use Suave Max Hold Hairspray. I've experimented with other hairsprays and such, but I've always come back to this one. I can trust this one with my life no matter how strong the smell is. Teasing the top bangs is such a tedious process, so it does take some trial and error and lots of do-overs. <sighs> Bear with me. I don't do this often, only when I want, you know, puffier hair, but I brush out my curls with a big roller brush and then kind of hairspray it all and do the scrunching motion. You'll see that later, but for now I'm just putting my hair up. And here I am returning back to the bottom hair and teasing it with both the comb and brush. <laughs> when in doubt, scrunch the hair. I continue it until I'm pretty much satisfied with how it looks. I wasn't too happy with it to be honest, but I just dealt with it. I won't be showing the entire makeup process just because the lighting is awful in this footage. You'll see how it looks when I show the entire look later. Angela barely has any makeup on, everything is natural besides the lip gloss, some blush, and eyebrows. <laughs> Again, I did what I wanted and did my usual makeup, which consists of pink lip gloss, pink eyeshadow, pink blush, mascara, and black eyeliner pencil. Fashion time, baby! Woo! My favorite part! God, my room is such a mess. 
Here is the rundown of Angela's outfit. She has a pink striped top where the sleeves are cuffed up a bit. She has a light pink beaded earring with a matching necklace. She also has two swatch watches, one in white and one in a dark blue color. Next, she has a white belt with a heart on the front. The belt matches her white bangles, slouch socks, and if I'm assuming right, are some classic white Reeboks. Now, for her shoulder bag, it seems to be super tinted light pink. I nearly thought it was like an off-white color. She also tied the strap at the top to suit her more comfortably. That that was a very common thing to do back in the 80s. Lastly, is her adorable light acid wash skirt with the two bows on the back. That style of skirt has been on my wish list for the longest time, and seeing Angela wear it finally motivated me enough to search all over eBay for one. Here is what I came up with. Slouch socks, check. I had two bags I needed to choose from. I wanted to put my own personal spin on this look and add the pastel patchwork bag but settle with my white bag. It says here that the bag is by Nyman Marcus. I had this old pink striped top with embroidered animals on it. Ah, there it is, the acid wash skirt with the little bows. This skirt is by Jordash. Love that brand. Next, I'm picking out my jewelry. I just recently got this beautiful vintage 80s diamond shaped earrings from Etsy and knew they would look great with this look. I had both a white belt and an off-white belt, and I knew the white belt would work a lot better and chose that one. I only own one swatch watch. It was from the Swatches Back to 1984 collection, and the only dark colored watch I have is this thrifted and ink-stained Mickey Mouse watch. I have a white bangle as well, but I forgot to show that, but you'll see it later. Last is the necklace. I thrifted this pink necklace a month ago, and sadly, it isn't the right shade of pink to match the outfit, but I still wore it anyways. Now, on to the reveal! I forgot to record an outro. Remember to subscribe if you like my content and love all things 80s, and remember to like and comment. I'll see you all next time. Bye! St St Studio line from L'Oreal. Sculpt, hold, control. Moose, that shape. Body, that's great. Fixing spray, fix quick for tricks, sprints, lift. Stop your head, any way you like it.